welcome students today in this video lecture we will discuss about geometrical and optical isomerism of six coordinated compounds here before starting our lecture if you are a new member of this channel please do do subscribe my youtube channel let's start when a metal is connected to six ligands then the compound will be called six coordinated compound here in this example metal is connected to six ligands that is a b c d e and f when two groups lie in a angle 90 degree then the isomer will be called a cis isomer and when two ligand lie at an angle 180 degree then the isomer will be called a trans isomer here in the cis positions a uh, remains 90 degree with b and a remains 90 degree with c a remains 90 degree with d and a remains 90 degree with e so this all positions are the cis position another b and e b c and d c and f d and f e and f b and f all are the six positions so two groups when lie in 90 degree then there there will be c isomer and in order to be trans isomer two ligand should be at an angle 180 degree that is a f b d and obviously c e this all the positions this all positions are trans position here in this example m is connected to six ligand for a and 2b example co nh3 whole for cl2 plus this is a hexa coordinated compound when two same atom or two same ligand that is here two cl remains at an angle 90 degree hence it will be called a cis isomer and if two cl atom remains at an angle 180 degree that is trans to each other then it will be called a trans isomer so two i two geometrical isomerism are possible in this compound one is cis and another is trans now here in this example m is connected to aa 2a and b2 look aa is a bidentate ligand like ethylene diamine nh2 ch2 ch2 nh2 now here in this case also two isomer are possible one is cis and another is trans in the cis isomer two cl atom remains at an angle 90 degree and in trans two cl atom remains at an angle 180 degree here n is connected to this end via a en en means ethylene diamine you may write nh2 ch2 ch2 nh2 also or you may like write like this now the next example is m a a b2 c2 example co en nh3 whole to cl2 plus or cr en nh3 whole to cl2 look here in this case also there are possible two c isomers here in this example i have shown you one c isomer in the left side and one in the right side look there are this is a six coordinated compound there are two cl atom there are two nh3 ligand two cl ligand two nh3 ligand and one en look if two cl remains 90 degree remains at 90 degree bond angle then it is a cis or 2nh3 remains in trans in 90 degree bond angle then it will also a cis and if two cl atom remains at an angle 180 degree or 2nh3 ligand remains at an angle 180 degree then it will also called a trans isomer here if you write in the cis case look in the cis case if you write cl and cl not beside 
but one position later then it will also cease and if you write NH3 opposite to NH3 then it will also trans look here you, you can write it like cis here uh, as shown in this example and you may write as trans as shown in this example this was all about geometrical isomerism that is a cis and a trans now the time is to uh, explain about optical isomerism for each cis isomer there is an optical isomer if we take a mirror image of the cis isomer of the previously explained compound then we will get a isomer which is the mirror image of the cis form and these two isomer will not be superimposable to each other now if we look at this example maa 2 b2 and if we take a cis isomer then uh, uh, like coen 2 cl2 plus and we take the cis isomer and here in the middle a mirror is kept and we will get a mirror image structure these two structures are not superimposed to each other so the, uh, for a cis isomer there is a optical isomerism optical isomer also in the next example m a a b2 c2 that is co cl2 en nh3 whole 2 we take the cis isomer same as previous and make a mirror image we get another structure these two structure are not superimposable to each other so we get a optical isomerism of the cis compound the next example is very much important maa whole 3 like coen whole 3 3 plus here in this compound no geometrical isomerism is possible we can get a optical isomerism if we look if we write the molecule like this then we will get a optical isomer of that compound via its mirror image this two structure is not superimposable to each other so maa whole 3 compound has only two isomer that is uh, optical isomer to each other Next, uh, we try. We will try to find the isomer of the compound MA3B3. It is also a six-coordinated uh, compound. MA3B3. Let's take an example. CONH3 whole three, Cl3 three plus. We will not get a geometrical isomer or optical isomerism for this compound. Here we will get a facial isomerism and a meridional isomer. In a facial isomer three ligand remains in one plane and makes a plane this three ligand three a or three b remains in a same plane of a octahedron and in the meridional a plane created by three a or three b cut the octahedron into two halves lastly we will i will like to tell you that if a compound m a 4 b 2 if you are if you ask in a question there how many isomer are possible for a compound m a 4 b 2 then you will get one cis and one trans isomer that is two geometrical isomer and you will get a optical isomerism for the compound cis for the compound cis isomer hence three isomers are possible for a compound m a 4 b 2 MAA whole 3, MAA whole 3, only possible isomers are 2, optical isomers. MA3B3, you will get also 2 isomers, 1 facial and 1 meridional. And read all the topics thoroughly and write in your notebook. So, that's all for geometrical and optical isomerism. So students, how was the video lecture? Please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel.